Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Those are your destination respective asset names. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, I want to go back to Syria and Iraq. And uh, I touched on this idea um, in my previous video about the fall of uh, Kobani, which seems inevitable. But uh, I wanted to go a little more in depth about this idea. I've seen a couple of uh, articles and a couple of clips about this idea, and that is. What exactly is the U.S. strategy, so-called coalition uh, strategy against ISIS, uh, either in Iraq, in Iraq, or uh, Syria? And uh, the reason why we bring that up, uh, uh, look at uh, the fall of Kobani, for example. Um, up to a certain point, uh, at least up until, I guess, today, uh, there had only been something like six uh, U.S. airstrikes in that region in support of Kobani. And I do understand that there's some complexities involved with airstrikes if you don't have uh, spotters on the ground. And the United States is not coordinating uh, with Kurds there. So, but that said, um, I think Bill still has a video that brings up a very good point, And that is the, the, the idea that ISIS is using uh, giant U.S. Uh, battle tanks, uh, M1 H1 uh, Abrams uh, battle tanks, and uh, they have uh, heavy artillery, and they're uh, fighting against the Kurds on uh, three sides uh, around and inside the city of Kobani. And uh, like I brought up in that video, and uh, Bill still brought up, uh, these uh, weapons are easy to spot, they're, and they're hard to define. And uh, needless to say, they, they move kind of slowly, too. So, um, relatively speaking, uh, compared to aircraft uh, being my point. So it seems uh, to me uh, with what uh, military knowledge I have that the United States is fully capable of uh, coordinating airstrikes that could take out every single tank and artillery piece uh, within the vicinity of uh, Kobani in, in a day, in a 24-hour period. And uh, a lot of that evidence is based on a, a, a American uh, battlefield techniques that we saw uh, against the Iraqi army in both the Persian Gulf War and the, the, the last uh, Iraqi invasion. And uh, so it, it seems like the, the, the resources are uh, in the region and that there is that capability. And uh, we also saw that same idea brought up um, in Iraq. Uh, it seems like uh, the airstrikes uh, are relatively limited. Uh, up to now, we have something in the vicinity of 200 to 300 uh, coalition and U.S. airstrikes in Iraq, being my understanding. And um, as uh, some pundits have pointed out, uh, or some commentators, uh, the United States could have easily done 200, uh, two to 300 strikes in a day or two. And yet here we are a, a month or, or more into this campaign, or maybe it just seems that long, uh, that uh, the, the U.S. and coalition response is limited. And as I brought up in, in a previous video, it's also rather odd that, uh, well, it's not odd, it's political and it's symbolic that the United States is, is gathering these token uh, Air Force contributions from all these uh, uh, countries, these countries willing to donate, and um, they are, are making token gestures, because the United States, of course, alone is fully capable of carrying out all these airstrikes and much, much more uh, than what we are seeing right now. So, unfortunately, the, the fact that we see this, we see this relative light-handed touch by uh, United States forces uh, brings up uh, uh, some uh, problematic questions. Uh, one is the, the obvious one, uh, is there going to be some sort of reticence of uh, not wanting to unleash uh, too much uh, blowback or repercussions or escalation uh, before the uh, elections coming up in the United States. Or um, it seems to also feed into the idea that uh, is there still some sort of coordination going on uh, between uh, the United States uh, intelligence services and, and ISIS uh, and the players behind the scenes and, and once again, as I brought up in on many occasions, uh, it's only necessary to have some key players to to at least uh, influence an organization like this. It's not like 
uh, all the throngs of ISIS fighters on the ground uh, know that they're working for uh, nefarious bad actors behind a curtain. Uh, they fully believe in their jihad. It's only necessary to commandeer a few elements uh, to make this uh, relation, this kind of uh, sinister relationship work. So I just wanted to, to point that out. So, and then another interesting question uh, tied in with this this whole idea of of these airstrikes to take out uh, some of these vehicles. And that, that's another thing. When we look at the reports that we're getting, um, we're seeing that uh, uh, multi-million dollar uh, jet fighters and multi-million dollar ordnance are being used to destroy pickup trucks and uh, and uh, 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 people running. And uh, I don't know, I, I, I would expect to see a lot more uh, tank hits and, and uh, uh, artillery pieces hits. We know we have uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of pieces of uh, this kind of equipment. And it seems like that's what airstrikes would be taking out, particularly, like I say, we're using uh, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of military hardware to, to take out uh, $20,000 uh, pickup trucks uh, with a machine gun mounted on the back. Uh, so that, w once again, that light touch uh, brings into question what exactly is the, the U.S. strategy, what exactly is the United States relationship uh, to ISIS, and what, what exactly they expect to achieve. And certainly this, uh, this whole idea of uh, airstrikes alone uh, was known from the beginning not to be uh, sufficient, particularly from what we've seen of who the, the air forces are supporting, either the so-called Free Syrian Army, which is virtually non-existent, or the Iraqi army, which might as well be non-existent. Um, so uh, rather confusing all the way around uh, if you uh, simply analyze it by looking at uh, incompetency or a bad strategy. Uh, one has to be a little more sophisticated and uh, look a little deeper to find out that uh, maybe what appears to be a failed uh, strategy, and what appears to be incompetency is actually the strategy itself. So, uh, so anyway, uh, there we have it. What exactly is going on with uh, this U.S. strategy in Syria and Iraq? And uh, why is there not a serious campaign against ISIS? I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one, too.